Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model this part. It's a model for 3D printing. A follower of me requested and then I wanted to model it. Let's attack them. We just open a new part and in the form plane we create a sketch. As we do always, we create here a construction geometry and then continue with line. I create a line coming back to my point and I get an automatic there arc and here a line we can do like this for now and then we get smart dimensions click my uh, construction geometry and while shift is pressed I select an arc and then I get this dimension 60 will be here this will be 3 this will be 3 and outer dimension will be 56 with the height of 60 we are going to complete this model everything is fully defined we can go to the next step we close our sketch and say revolve we have got this shape and we click on font plane later on we click a plane and 56 by divided by 2 on 28 exactly tangent to this outer edge of diameter uh, surface we are creating a plane and then working normal to here and creating on this new plane a sketch now i have got a line i made the construction geometry and 56 multiplied by pi I get my circumreference. I'm going to select here a midline and place the reconstruction geometry. And then I'm going to divide this line into four pieces. And here one more line. And now it's three. One more time. Yes, everything will be equal. Each segment presents of a 90 degree of a, a circle because in two 90 degree just across to each other, I want to put my handlebar. That's why I created this kind of segments. And this is our area where handlebar will be. And later the rest will be mirror. We start here the point with a line a little bit going down straight going down facing up going down and for now let's give our dimensions here 8 from here to here 21 this is 6 This will be also six. And here we have got a ten. We have got a three. Little boring operation, but what to do? It's thirty, and then we go to the center. Yes, and we have got here eight millimeter difference. And I go to another side and a little bit continue with the modeling. These two will be equal, these two will be also equal, and we have got a difference of three here. And I do get here one line, one more, something like this. Let's make this three equal and define some values five, half, 
two because of construction geometry you can get sometimes diameter it's not so a problem it's a problem for now it is looking good guys this is our base i don't want to create here some kind of uh, radius or operations because there's a lot of work of sketch better make a copy and then keep original and then with copy work because that's much more convenient and I'm just going to create one line again and here one construction geometry again like this can stay as a construction not as a line not construction geometry yes uh, now we are going to make a mirror operation first all these segments will be mirrored if you see in this points we have some similarity but i want that there is not a repeating objects on this model that's why i'm going to remove this half and let's give some dimension probably our orientation is lost that's why sketch is blue but if you say i don't care that's also up to you and here i have got one i do remove these guys i'm just going to keep like how it is it's okay not a rocket science can keep sometimes also simple after this operation i have got a sketch palette which will be 2.9 and i do select all these objects we say yes as you see everything is now fitted except some things yeah it is okay when we are done with that we can go to next step plane is hidden we select our sketch and wrap here and we just say here scribe after this operation i'm going to insert an offset effect with zero and after this operation we go to thicken outwards we're going to make two thicken and i will move face inwards one millimeter because i want to cut from original part one millimeter and here face move i don't use this comments i don't place these comments on my here uh, buttons because some guys don't have here and then they can have trouble to search while they are searching we have two body now we go insert features move copy and this new one will be a copy here copy active just one we just say okay program says me you didn't move it but you made a copy what you are doing i'm just saying it's a copy don't worry and then we go to features combine subtract this is main body this is the body will be subtracted and then we have got this cut this, is, this can be done with also wrap but yeah i found that this is simple after fillet under fillet we have a chamfer 0 0.95 chamfer will be placed here and then later on i do show my part and i created here a sketch and i convert this two object and make it three millimeter high extrude and i'm going to combine with that one now we can give some different colors and try to understand better what we are doing this can be gray this can be for example orange and this kind of color that's good chamfer will be here chamfer can be here also one and one chamfer also here yes after this operation everything is looking fine 
As I told you before, we have two open gap for handlebar area. And now we are looking from front and we say normal tool and we create there a sketch. Sketch and a line as shown, line group. And we make them construction geometry. Here we have a 40 millimeter height. And then later on, we have got here one sketch, which will look like the screen. How I draw it. Yes. And in this kind of shape, one millimeter here, another 1.25 here, and here we have a diameter four and a half. Here we have a diameter eight. And outside will be 10. And from here to here, we have two and a half. And a little bit we can go inside because we will make a revolve. We don't want to open area on our part. And with mirror entities, we select everything and we make on this axis a mirror. And later on, we say sketch is done and a revolve. We have two axes and program didn't understand. We select this one and here merge result active. Auto select not, will not be. We are going to select that part will be combined to which part. After this operation, we have here two type radius. Two radius is good. Even looking a little bit bigger. One and a half. Yeah, one and a half. And chamfer here one. Okay. We are almost done with. And then later on I show this sketch. On the top plane I'm clicking and selecting a plane and in this point I'm going to create a plane. Okay, now we look from top and we can create here a sketch. Simply something like this and I do come back my point and I get an arc continue then ending on this point we convert this a construction geometry height is 45 here we have 12 and a half here we have six here three and this also will be three and a half yeah, we will have a coincident here, Pierce also no coin coincident lighting. And then yeah, we have got a fully defined sketch. Select chain, mirror entities. Uh, but before mirror, we should make some radius. 2.25 radius, and I select everything. And I select chain. And I make an offset of four millimeter, bidirectional, but when we make bidirectional, it will be two. And base will be construction. Base converted to construction geometry, and the rest is there. And yeah, now we right click and say select, select chain, mirror entities, mirror about and this will be our axis to make mirror. This is good. And I do make a pause extrude, height is four, mid plane and no merge result. And now chamfer, it is one millimeter and we select all outer edges. Kind of 
we are not kind of in fact we, are, we have like a kind of yeah no octagon i think which is having eight corner and on the front plane we look again and we do create a sketch lasting last operation then you don't need to be here with me more and i'm going to make an here copy of this existing edge and then i will hide it for printing if we want that should work we should make this dimensions a little bit smaller i select everything i make an offset reverse and 0.1 i think is good and then i do close my section i can make here and i will make a mirror because we have this one is twice to be able to understand what i'm doing i'm just hiding this two and in fact there we have this two object and we make a revolve and access here much result of course with this one uh, that's great there is here something in fact we could change it maybe but yeah it's okay this is just an example yes guys we are done with model if you look differently change your model it will start to look much more better and we can create an axis on this circular part cylindrical or conical phase it says it's a cylindrical phase and i'm going to insert features move and this will be the part will be moved no copy just to rotate axis here and let's say 45 degree minus mm. minus 45 degree yes something like this and then we are done thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you like my video please make comment and hit the like button see you in another video